What a year 2022 has been for the people of Queensland. Our children, our workforces, those who have been affected by floods and COVID, mums, dads, grandparents, our seniors, our partners, and of course, all of us here at Health and Wellbeing Queensland. Our workforce, including our wonderful partners in Brisbane, the far north, and the lower Gulf, haven't stopped to support the health of children, the next generation, so that they can live the life that they are actually entitled to. We're supporting fairness through our system. This is complicated, but it's critical. We're supporting food security and want to see this improve as the cost of living continues to hurt. We're building a sustainable network of partners to support obesity prevention, and we're supporting our wonderful workforces including our very important clinicians to prevent before we need to treat. Generation Queensland is our vision and it will continue to drive our work moving forward. So what have we actually done? Because it's been an awful lot. Many of us here at Health and Wellbeing Queensland have hit the track with more than 25,000 of you, including a thousand kids, having some real fun at the Gold Coast Marathon. We were also with over 40,000 Queenslanders at the Murray Rugby League Carnival. This was a fantastic drug, alcohol and sugar-free event, which we were so lucky to sponsor. The Bridge to Brisbane and numerous government house community bushwalks have really made a difference in getting us together to get outside and move more. We're so proud to sponsor Netball Queensland and we're able to support thousands of young netballers from across the state. And to wrap the year up, we came together at our very own Health and Wellbeing Queensland Symposia. We supported our lovely program partners to deliver community-led, community-focused work, reaching over 2 million Queenslanders. We work to improve our relationship with fruit and veg with over 15,000 kids through our Pick of the Crop program. Our Gather and Grow work has gathered some pretty strong partnerships in more than 20 remote First Nations communities to grow our accessibility of good nutrition. These are all locally driven, long-term, sustainable food security and healthy store initiatives. So the right work for the right community at the right time. Over 200 Logan residents living with type 2 diabetes are now living a better life thanks to the Logan Healthy Living Hub. The hub is a new model of care supported by over 60 students providing industry experience to the next generation of our health professionals. More than 3,000 First Nations people receive their annual health check through our support of the Deadly Choices program. And Queenslanders from over 450 postcodes took a total of 11.5 billion steps through the 10,000 steps program. Closer to home, our team survey results have revealed that we have zero racism, zero bullying and zero discrimination in this organisation. We couldn't be prouder of what we've achieved here this year. There couldn't be a better time now to build a really strong policy agenda across the entire state. 2023 will look different again. We're gonna be ready for whatever it is that's thrown at us. However, we've started something really strong. We look after each other and we know how to support Queenslanders as they support us. Enjoy some time away from the pressures of life and embrace what this beautiful place we live in has to offer. Most of all, thank you for everything you do and for being on the journey with us to truly support the next generation of Queenslanders.